On my travels, we get the chance to meet people living in their vans doing all sorts of things. Today is a little bit of a sad story. We're gonna meet a guy named Mike that has been living in here now for three months as his daughter has been missing since September 2020. So that's seven months in total she's been gone. He's been in here for three months living in a very basic build, just driving around Canada trying to find his daughter. So let's go meet Mike. Do you seriously have holes in the floor there? Yeah. This really? Is, this is a cargo, so it was a stowaway. It, it was a, it's, it's like a CV or a caravan. And you that's know? seriously where you put your feet? Yeah. So that's, that's genius. Yeah. So that is out. awesome. Yeah. What Sorry. a cool use of space. Well, th th that's where the seats would be, right? Anyway, guys, so uh, this is Mike. Hi. <laughs> Dude, that is a great way to, in to intro a video. Um, so Mike, what's, uh, what are you doing in the van, Mike? Well, um, I've been, uh, I've been, uh, living in my van now for, uh, uh, three months, going on three months. And, uh, uh, it's always been something I've always wanted to entertain and always wanted to do ever since I started watching Van City Van Life. It's, uh, one of the shows that just absolutely relaxed me. Um, prior to this incident, I, I was, I was really, uh, wondering on, how I was going to be able to convince my life, to, or to convince my wife to let me uh, uh, start a new life and live in the van. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, uh, unfortunately, due to the circumstances, uh, uh, my daughter went missing in September after coming to visit her her uh, her mother in Vancouver, and uh, uh, hasn't been seen since that evening. So. Uh, my van life has started. It's not the. Uh, it's certainly not the way I anticipated. Nevertheless, it has started, uh, um, and the journey here is to find my daughter. And uh, this is this is where I will remain until I find her. That's a dad move right there. Yeah. Uh, I think anybody. I think any one of us would do it. Uh, there's been a few people in my life that have said, uh, "Well, why don't you just let the police worry about it." And my response to them, I guess, is um, not that I don't have faith in the system, because I do. I want to believe in. I want to believe in the system. Uh, I don't want to jump on the board of uh, let's hate the cops and the cops are useless and this and that and this and that because they're not. They, uh, they're, they're, they're parents, they're mothers, they're fathers, they're, uh, um, they're people that do care. There's some people that say, well, just let the police worry about it and let the, let the professionals deal with it. And uh, I guess uh, the thing that really gets to me about that is the fact that. If they go missing, I'd be there for them too. Any one of my friends, I wouldn't sit there and uh, let the police worry about it. Although they are working their best, their hardest. Uh, I feel proactive, I feel raising awareness, I feel doing a lot more uh, to assist, help the police uh, is, is where it's at. Activeness uh, uh, and awareness is, is key in, the, in any missing person case as far as I'm concerned. The earlier the better. So this space here is basically my my, my desk, um, as anybody would have at home, as their office space. Um, I do most of my uh, computing here in this space. I have a note a place here where I take notes. Doubles as my my king size bed. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, uh, so it also I also once I move this, it also acts as a table, as my supper, breakfast, and lunch table. So I haven't done much of this van. Basically, it was a cargo van, a 2014, got a cargo van. 
uh, just a floor. I took up the floor. I've got totes underneath uh, that to act as my bed frame. And also, that's where my dishes are, uh, clothes are. I have a blanket that I put, uh, just a little, uh, uh, small little blanket that I, I drape across the front two headrests. I put them all the way up, so it uh, kind of gives you a little bit of uh, height and privacy. I haven't had, uh, I haven't had much uh, opportunity uh, to, uh, to do too much work on the van, so uh, really I'm just uh, using the holes, the speaker holes and, and uh, so forth uh, for uh, compartments. Uh, glove boxes, little mini glove boxes there. I've got a uh, bungee cord on this side where I hang up my uh, clothes sometimes. Uh, I can move it, uh, move it around. It uh, acts as a curtain rod as well. Or... Overthinking is not the way to, uh, to go with this. Uh, in the end, whether you're looking for a missing person or living your dream about just getting out there, living in the van, just do it. Just get a bed. Uh, I believe way back in the day, Chrome said, get to know your van. And uh, literally, I, uh, I am getting to know this van every single square inch at a time. So when the time does, to, uh, time does come to maybe do a little bit more work on it, I will be ready. I will know exactly where I want every single thing. But uh, I agree, it is imperative to get to know your van, not just to go and build a complete build out until you know what the situation is. If somebody's down in their luck, basically they, they'll make their way to Hastings Street. Yeah. Um, Chelsea has had her, her, her experiences with, uh, with uh, drugs and alcohol. Um, so uh, to find a needle in a haystack, I guess you gotta go start looking. So um, if somebody doesn't wanna be found, which is, which is not the case, uh, Chelsea's not capable, I can't stress this enough, whether it's getting a hold of me, her sisters, tattling on me, them fighting, them calling, or vice versa, she just cannot go without being in contact, especially with her sisters. Um, physically, she's not uh, not in the best shape, so she would have been noticed a long time ago. She walks with a limp. Uh, she was in a, she was in a car in a semi accident. She was hit by a truck uh, years ago, and uh, she recovered, but. Uh, her leg was uh, her leg is not uh, you know not a, not the way it was and her arm is uh, you know permanently bent. Uh, she's got numerous scarring and things like that. So she would have been noticed. She would have been uh, she would have you know somebody would have seen it. Somebody would have noticed that by the by all the attention by the global news by the media by the posters by word of mouth uh, everything. Somebody would have found it by now. And now that there's a ten thousand dollar reward out. Um, that's uh, that's that should have been that should have been enough to uh, you know if she was uh, hanging around with a new crowd of friends or, or, or something like that then uh, um, that would have been enough for somebody you know ten thousand bucks uh, to somebody in a, in a tight spot is, is a lot of money you know to anybody it's a lot of money to me it's a lot of money but nevertheless I was hoping that when that ten thousand dollar reward was offered that she would uh, she would have been uh, you know one of her friends would have turned turned her in or something to that effect. to that effect it didn't happen and that's when uh, I was I was searching Saskatchewan uh, I knew when the when uh, if there was no response to the reward then I knew that uh, it was time to come out here and pound pavement and uh, by that I mean I mean every street in Vancouver uh, every alley uh, I've ran into some amazing people. Uh, there's the overdose uh, prevention, uh, overdose uh, prevention society, uh, and they, uh, they they they're in so many programs. They hang red dresses uh, uh, along Hastings. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but uh, is that what those red dresses are for? Yeah, it's for, for murdered and missing Indigenous women. I've been seeing them all yeah, over the place just 5th, recently. May 5th is that is, it is the big day. So oh, that's a good mix. Red dress. Hang. I've been seeing them everywhere. I'm, I'm yeah. like, what is with all these red dresses? Now yeah. I know. Nice. Yeah, yeah it's, I learned something new too. I mean, look, this uh, this time six months. I ago. just thought someone's throwing red dresses over the trees, yeah. and I, I had no idea. Cause yeah. I'm driving, and I'm like, what are the, all these for? I've probably seen probably 
you know, maybe 50 in one day driving yeah. driving down the island highway. Yeah. Oh, wow, awesome. And you know what? That's uh, They're powerful. That's a powerful statement. If mm -hmm. you go on uh, YouTube and stuff and look at the red dresses and yeah. some of the stories and, I mean, the highway of tears and just yeah. uh, all these women going missing and disappearing and, you know, uh, some being found, which is fantastic, and that's what keeps me going every day. Uh, but uh, the ones that don't come back are... are uh, I really, uh, really heart wrenching. It's uh, it's the not knowing. It's uh, it's the confusion. It's what am I doing wrong? Where am I not looking? Where did I miss? What who have I not talked to? And that uh, you know that takes me uh, back to the same thing every single day. It's it's, it's like Groundhog Day. You remember the movie Groundhog Day? Uh -huh. Waking up in the same day, day in and day out. That's what it's like. It's like just not knowing. Just where is she? You know. What can I do today? Where can I go today? Uh, and they're long days. They're they're really really long days, uh, and a lot of talking and a lot of uh, you know meeting with people and uh, networking. Um, and I'm so thankful for the van because uh, sometimes I am just beat within uh, by the end of it, I should say, and uh, I can just pull over and jump in the back, and that's it done. Uh, I notice I know there's so many people living in. Uh, and vans, uh, some, I don't think it's by choice, but some by choice, and uh, the ones that I ran into and they're doing it by choice are having an awesome time, a fantastic time. I uh, haven't let myself really enjoy uh, enjoy this. I, I know it doesn't look like much. I know it's, it is really simple. Uh, my goal here, my dream here, my excitement, the reason I keep going here is not only uh, I want Chelsea found, and I want to bring her home, and I want her, want her to be safe. Uh, I have three kids, and she's my favorite. So I'm just <laughs> 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 the other girls will be understandable. They're like, uh huh. No. Um, uh, I look forward to continuing this journey, and uh, this is where I'm gonna get shit either way. But I look forward to finding Chelsea. Uh, bring her home and uh, continuing my own journey in the van. And at that point, I can I can take the time, I could uh, I could I could rebuild it. Uh, I'd ultimately probably like a bigger one, but uh, honestly, honestly, a minivan it it works. I've I've got I've got uh, these eight dollar totes under the bottom as a bed frame. I put my clothes in there. I can fold the mattress up. I've got two suitcases in the back uh, compartment like this. I got those in there. I can just take the totes out, slide the mattress out, lift the board up. That's got a stick that, that sticks on it. Take my suitcases out. I mean, I don't access that much because I put all my clothes in these bins and stuff and dishes and everything. So I, I just pull them out as I need them. You know, and I, I don't have to, uh, you know, rip apart the whole van. I, I know it's not a lot, but it's uh, what I have and, and it works. And it just, uh, it, it, yeah, it absolutely works. So if anybody can do something for you, what could it be? Do something for you and your daughter, what would it be? Right? Um, like if you if you needed something from somebody, what? Well, I, I have created a website. It's still in the works. It's um, on there. You can actually click on Chelsea's picture. There's, um, the, if you click on the picture, it asks you, do you want to download a poster? So what would be absolutely fantastic is if you can download a poster and put it up in your neighborhood. Do you have a poster with you here? I certainly do. Um, I have a, I have this printed out and I plan on putting it on the van here, but uh, that's a pretty cool cool thing. It's uh, you know so people don't have to QR code. I don't know if they ever use those. Yep. I'm kind of new to the concept, but yep. it works really good. And then um, uh, yeah, so, you can, you can so that QR code takes you right to the website. The QR code takes you right to the website. I got you can screenshot that one right there. That work. But that's a pretty simple thing to ask from some people. That's all you want is just to print out some posters and stick them around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a GoFundMe attached. Uh, if they can help that way, fantastic. Uh, that's for fuel and printing and everything else. So. They kind of can kind of just to help continue to move on Absolutely. down the road and Absolutely. and keep sharing. Absolutely. I mean, your van's plastered in her face. It's, it's yeah, you know, it's, I, I know. And uh, awareness is key. Awareness is key. So yes, the GoFundMe is extremely important. Important, but. The awareness is, is really where I'm at. Uh, I want the whole, you know, I want the whole province uh, to start here. And, and I mean, I know Saskatchewan knows her name. I know, uh, you know, I know Vancouver knows her name. Um, but, you know, 
when I talked to the uh, former uh, head of Missing Persons Canada, he says it's best to find out. So again, if uh, if you can download a poster and put it up in your neighborhood, that's 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 absolutely fantastic. And uh, share the website. Uh, there's a share button on there, so if if you want to just click on the, the Facebook share, and it, and it takes a it shows this poster, so you can just share it on Facebook or whatever. Sorry, I'm new to the whole internet thing, but uh, uh, I just want to get her found and get back to simplicity. Uh, as I get older, I tell you, I, I, n I was never a Facebook guy, and uh, I, I know these kids are, uh, and I get that, and I'm not, I'm not complaining, but for me, I, I don't like it. And when I'm done, I'd like to take every piece of technology I have, fire it out the window, and drive out to somewhere out in the back country, and uh, my little stove and some groceries, and sit on this thing, buy the water. Oh, I found a nice spot, by the way. And <laughs> Get just, out there and live that van oh, life? Oh, absolutely. Live the van life. You know, with the hash pop, just some good, cool shots of hash pop as the sun comes down. Oh, there's some amazing, beautiful stories. Oh, and, there is, there is. And you know what? It, why not? If you can do it, even if you can do it part time, if you can do it on a weekend, just do it. Because the freedom, the the, the the mental freedom, the freedom I have in here. I mean, we got a we got a we got a, a brand new condo in Saskatoon. I'd take this as a condo any day, <laughs> honestly. New appliances, seventy five inch TV, you know, leather couches, reclined couches, uh, the whole nine yards. But uh, no, this this is this is me. I don't know if it's just me, but this is me. I mean, yeah, I'd like to see a little bit more done to the van you know some cool little features and stuff like that however um this works this this just works this is this is fantastic i know uh, i know i know people look at it and maybe roll their eyes or whatever but uh you know once uh once you jump in here and you uh you uh you have your first nap in here oh Forget it. There's no going back. Forget it. There's no going back. Exactly. It's like a cocoon. It's like we it get is. in here it and is. it's like you are the safest thing ever. You're wrapped yeah. up in the blanket called this tin can. It's, yeah. it's beautiful. And you know, I've been taking off. I've been, I mean, I'm taking this off. I'm going to put a wood, a wood um, uh, uh, you know, nice paneling yeah. on top. Yeah. But I tell you, one thing is so amazing is when you fall asleep. Oh, with the rain? the rain? Oh my gosh. Oh heck yes. Uh, I, 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 I sleep like a baby. Yeah, and uh, I don't think if it wasn't for living in the van, uh, if I were at home, uh, uh, you know, in, in a house and, and having to deal with this, I don't think I'd be sleeping. I, I believe the van is is put me in a, in a state of mind where I can actually relax. I can actually stay focused. I can actually get some good night sleeps. Hey guys, I got. Uh, I just want to say, uh, I, I, I I thank you for uh, for taking the time to watch this. Um, I know this isn't the usual van city van life, and uh, <laughs> um, I truly appreciate you. Uh, you, you know, you're not uh, skipping it and watching it. Chelsea is my daughter. We all have kids, so well, not all of us, but we all have people in our lives that we care about. And uh, when they go missing, it's 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 something. And uh, I, uh, I I can't thank you enough. Uh, she's 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 everything to me. My kids are my world. My kids have always been my world, and. Uh, I just I can't thank you enough for, for uh, doing doing what I asked and, and downloading the poster and putting it up for me everybody and just uh, giving this kid a shot because uh, she's worth it. Uh, she's an amazing girl. Uh, so again, thank you so much for coming by my van and into my little world and uh, listening to what I have to say. Thank you. Extremely happy